So pharmacies here in the United States are closing down. This is scary, but I want to address what's going on here and why they're actually doing this. And again, you may be shocked to find out exactly why, but I want to read you this article. This was an article that I was sent just this afternoon. I want to read you this because it's shocking to say the least. And again, it's probably not what you're assuming. Let's read the article really quick. So the article says, store closures have become an all too common occurrence since the pandemic started. Even major retail chains like Walmart and Bed Bath & Beyond have had to shutter several stores across the US over the past three years, though some cuts have been much more dramatic than others. At the same time, two of the biggest pharmacy chains in the country have also been closing locations this year. Walgreens and CVS has faced several temporary and permanent pharmacy shutdowns this year and more locations are closing their doors. Now, why? Why is this? Well, the person that sent me this article also sent me this. This, was, this came along with email. She says, can you believe more important stores like these are closing down? It's all because of inflation, isn't it? I live just two blocks from one that was closed down a week ago, and now I have to drive 12 minutes to get to the next closest one. Now, let's address this. First off, there are many stores closing down. A lot of retail stores. Why? Inflation. Inflation is the biggest reason why. Not just that products are costing more money, right? That obviously hurts, but when items cost more money and consumers have less money and they don't spend it, that means that store is going to struggle and will not be profitable. A good business is not gonna remain unprofitable for too long. Now, here's the other thing. This isn't just happening now. This is not all because of what happened over the past couple weeks. No, it takes months and months and months before a store actually closes down. There's a lot that goes into it. So what you need to understand is that all this stuff probably happened and occurred back in the summer, in the early fall, not in November of 2022, definitely not the first three days of December, right? These are all things that have happened in the past. Now, you know, we've heard CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Walmart, pharmacies, uh, and so many more are shutting down. And just to give you an idea, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens and Rite Aid, those four pharmacies, those account for 70% of all US pharmacy sales. All US pharmacy sales, 70% from just four main stores. Now, probably thinking, well, it's all because of inflation, right? Well, the answer is a little more complex than that. And I wanna address what's going on here because this is not just impacting pharmacies. This is impacting retail stores. This is impacting uh, pretty much anything. It doesn't matter whether it's a clothing store, electronic store. We've seen this with Apple. We've seen this with you know Apple stores across the country as well. And, and you're probably gonna be like, oh, I heard about that when I tell you this, but here's what's going on. First off, inflation is the root of the problem. Inflation is causing all these other problems uh, to arise. First off, we got inflation. So. Let's say, um, you know, for the store to stay open, obviously they have to stay profitable. But here's the problem. If we have inflation, there's a couple things you can do. One, you can raise your prices, which most stores are, right? It costs them more money to buy the products, so they sell it for more. In addition to that, wages for your employees increases. In many cases, the, the rent that you pay, your lease for your building costs more, right? All these things cost more money. And because of that, there's one thing you can do after all those things have been done, right? You raise prices, right? Obviously, but after that's been done, the next thing you do is you lay people off. You reduce your staff size, okay? So once you reduce your staff size, all right, you're probably thinking, okay, we're good now. But again, and it's because of inflation, but now because you've reduced your staff size, guess what? your customer service isn't as great, right? You got less people in the store. 
And you know what less people in a big store means? It means if a, a thief were to come in, it's much easier to get products. It's much easier to take what you want because, well, there's a person in the back and a person at the register. Uh, they're not going to leave the register and the person in the back's too slow. They're not going to catch you. So guess what? You take whatever you can get, right? That's what we've been seeing. You've probably seen this with Apple stores all across the country. They call them smash and grabs. They come in, they pretty much you know break the, the locks off all the phones, steal everything, and they run out the store. While the, the customer the service reps or the whatever you call them, the Apple geniuses or whatever, right? They're standing there just watching because Apple doesn't want them to get involved, right? Now, here's the thing. What do we do if we get a lot of theft? Well, you put up more security cameras, right? That's the first thing you probably do. And then the next thing is you put stuff in, you know, uh, behind plexiglass, put stuff behind the counter, right? You put stuff out of reach where people have to go and get an associate to unlock the product, right? You put more uh, security tags on things. So it beeps if somebody walks out the store. Not like you're gonna go chase them down, but they do it anyway. Guess what all these things do? Number one, it brings customer service down because now people have to wait for these products, right? And let's say you got two employees in the store. One's at the register, the other one's standing in the back, right? Restocking shelves. Guess what? If 10 people come in, or let's be more realistic for Walgreens, let's say five people are in that store at the same time and two people need assistance, guess what? If there's only one person providing assistance, that means you gotta wait, right? So again, customer service goes down. But on top of that, all these things, the plexiglass, the little uh, you know security tags, more security cameras, guess what that does? Increases prices, yeah. And this is not just from Walgreens and Rite Aid and and CVS, Walmart's doing it, Target's doing it, right? You, you've been to Target lately that they actually have stuff locked, right? It's, it's locked to the, the actual thing that you, you'll go and uh, pull it off, right? They got a little security tag like it's an electronic item. You see that in the toys? You see that over in uh, you know, home goods? Yeah, that's why. You see that over in the makeup aisle? That's why. People are stealing that stuff. And guess what it's doing? To raising all of our prices. So again, when I said the root of the issue, the, the root of the problem is inflation, it is. But that's not the only problem. But here's the thing, bad customer service will send a store spiraling downward faster than anything else. If people come in and they can never be helped and they want help, it's not, it's not gonna work. That store is going to struggle, okay? But here's something else, else I can tell you. Pharmacies are the ones that are really being, uh, you know, pinpointed here. The media is talking about pharmacies, and again, I'm doing the same thing as well, so I can't bash the media here. But it's not just the pharmacies that are shutting down. It's not just the pharmacies that are seeing, you know, higher prices and more inflation. It's all retail stores, and again, it's because people are coming in. They realize they can't afford the products because they cost too much money and they don't have enough. So what do they do? Well. They take it. They just take the products. So again, right now we are in this, it's kind of this, you know, time of transition where we went from having a lot of excess money to having nothing. And again, the lower income households and even the middle income households are the ones that are really being impacted right now. But just understand they are not the only ones. So I just wanted to fill you in on what's going on because I know a lot of people have been asking about why so many stores are closing. It's all because of inflation, right? Again, inflation is the, the root problem. There's many other problems. It's, it's a multi-layered issue here. So again, that's what we know at this time. As always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all latest news and updates. One thing that I do ask is I truly do enjoy people that send me articles like this. Again, this article right here, I would probably never have seen it. Well, I would have, because I do a lot of research, but when when she sent me this, I thought, oh, that's so nice. Uh, you know, was, I appreciate that, that somebody goes out of their way, sends me an article, not just, hey, have you heard about this? But they sent me the article to read. I read it, looked at others, and it's like, that's a big issue. That's a major problem. And again, it's not a new problem. This is an existing problem that's only causing other problems. So again, that's what we know as of right now. Again, 
Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the rest of your day. Like always, if you like these daily uploads, do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button, take two seconds, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.